Oh, good day, students. Um, what we're doing in uh, this video is just a quick review of adding integers. So just a reminder that integers are the positive numbers, the negative numbers, plus zero. And um, here's how I like to think about adding integers. I think of positive numbers as being money and negative numbers as being bills. So the first question is saying, I've got a $4 in one pocket, $7 in another pocket. Altogether, I have $11. So four plus seven is 11, or you could say positive four plus positive seven is positive 11. <clears throat> in the next question, I've got a bill for $3 in one pocket and I've got $8 in the other pocket. So I can pay off my bill and I still have $5 remaining. In the third question, I've got $5 plus a bill for $7. So I can pay off part of the bill, but because the bill is more than the uh, amount of money that I have, I still owe $2 after I pay it off. And finally, if I've got a negative two plus a negative one, I think of that as I've got two bills. I've got a bill for $2, a bill for $1. Altogether, I owe $3. Now, you can also have a look at the number line for these and see if I start at 4 and I go 7 to the right, I'm going to end up at positive 11. The second one, if I start at negative 3 and go 8 to the right, well, 3 takes me to 0 and another 5 takes me to 5. So negative three plus eight is five. So you can also think of adding as starting on the number line and then moving to the right if you're adding a positive or moving to the left if you're adding a negative. So for this one, it would be starting at five. I'm adding negative seven, so I've got to go back seven. So I go back five to zero and then back another two. But I personally like to just think of money and bills. I'll just do these last two then. Um, I've got $7 in one pocket and a bill for $1. I can pay off my bill and I still have $1 left. And the last one, I've got a bill for $9 and I've got another $2. I can pay off part of the bill, but I still owe $7. Okay, go ahead, please, and uh, stop the video and try these questions on the right. Oops and then turn the video back on and you will quickly check your answers. Okay, welcome back students. Um, okay, negative five plus negative five, two bills just adds to give a bigger bill, so that's negative 10. Three plus negative nine, I can pay off $3 of my debt, but I still owe $6. Negative three plus negative seven, I've got two debts, and two debts just add together to give me a bigger debt. So that's negative 10. Here I've got $5 in one pocket, a bill for $6 in another pocket. I can pay off part of the bill, but I still owe $1. Here again, I've got two bills for $3 and for $4. Altogether, I owe $7. And the last one, I've got a bill for $8. I can pay off $7 of the bill, but I still owe one dollar. Okay, let's move on to subtracting. Now, the way that I've taught subtracting uh, this year is I said you never have to do a subtraction question. You can always turn every subtraction into an addition. So I'll show you how it works. So first off, I'll just do seven minus five the normal way and say seven take five is two. Now, if I want to turn that into an addition question, I change subtract to add, but then I have to change the sign to the opposite. So if I'm subtracting five, it's the same as adding negative five. And as a check, I start at seven on the number line. I'm adding negative five, so that means I go back five and I end up at two, which is exactly the same answer as we got when we subtracted. Similarly, 4 subtract 1 is 3. Um, if I change it to add the negative, I start at 4. 
I go back one and I end up at three. So four plus negative one is three. Okay, subtracting a negative number is like taking a bill away. So if someone takes a bill away, you're actually better off. So in this case, subtracting a negative three is the same as six plus three, which is nine. So for every question, if it's a subtraction, change it to plus and then change the sign of the second number. And the first number stays the same. One subtract negative four becomes one plus four, which is five. Negative two subtract five. I don't have any equal signs here. I'll put them in. Negative two subtract five becomes plus negative five. And that gives me negative seven. And the last one subtracting a negative seven subtract becomes plus negative seven becomes positive seven. And I've got seven dollars in my pocket plus a bill for five dollars. I pay off the bill, I still have $2 left. Okay, I'd like you to try, please, the six questions on the right. So stop the video, um, have a go at the questions, and then restart the video for a quick check of the answers. Okay, let's go through the answers. Six take away eight is six plus negative eight. I've got a bill for $8. I've got $6, I pay off part of the bill, I still owe two. Four subtract negative five. I'm, instead of taking away a bill, I'm actually better off by $5. If someone takes a bill away from me, I'm $5 better off. So that is positive nine. Negative two subtract six becomes negative two plus negative six, which is negative eight. Negative nine subtract one because negative nine plus negative one is negative 10. Negative two subtract negative eight becomes plus positive eight. I've got $8 and a bill for $2. Pay off the bill, I'm still $6 to the good. And the last one, subtracting a bill of $4, well, I'm $4 better off. So here I've got a bill for $6 and $4. I can pay off part of the bill, but I still owe $2. So I like to think of every subtraction, I can always turn it into add the opposite. Okay, the rule for multiplying is very simple. If the signs are the same, positive and a positive, the answer is positive. If the signs are both negative, the answer is also positive. So positive times a positive gives a positive, negative times a negative gives a positive. If the signs are different, one positive and one negative, the answer is negative. A negative times a positive, because the signs are different, the answer is negative. Anything times zero, of course, is zero. So it doesn't matter what that number is. And once again, a negative multiplied by a negative gives a positive. So two times six is 12. Okay, try the six on the right. And I'll pause, pause the video. And once you're finished, restart the video and quickly check your answers. Okay, let's see how you went. Three times negative two, negative six. Positive times a negative is a negative. The signs are different, so the answers are negative, making that negative 20. Signs are the same, negative times a negative. Um, answer is always positive, so it's positive 12 or just 12. Signs are different, the answer is negative. Anything times zero is always zero, <clears throat> excuse me. And negative one times negative one, well, a negative times a negative is always a positive. Okay, and the last operation, of course, is division. Four divide negative two. Well, the nice thing about dividing is it's exactly the same rule as multiplying. So if the signs are different, the answer is negative. So four divide negative two, the signs are different. Four divide two is two. Positive divided by a negative is a negative. If the signs are the same, 
just like for multiplying, the answer is positive. So negative divided by negative is a positive. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Signs are different. Answer is negative. Signs are the same. Answers positive. Now, just to finish off, what if we've got multiple operations? Here we've got an addition and a division. Here we've got an addition, but it's in brackets, and a division. Well, the order of operations, the one that I like to use is BEMA. So the first thing we always do is anything inside of the brackets. Then we do any indices or powers. Then we do multiplication and division, left to right. And finally, we do addition and subtraction, left to right. So looking at this question down here, I've got an addition and a division. So I have to do the division first. Multiply and divide comes before add and subtract. So I can rewrite this as negative 6 plus a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So that becomes positive 2. And then I do the addition. A bill for $6 plus two dollars I pay off part of the bill I still owe four dollars doing the second question down here the first thing I do is brackets so in this case I have to do the addition before I do the division negative five plus negative fifteen if I add two bills together it basically becomes a bigger bill so that becomes negative twenty I don't need to write the brackets anymore. That's only to show that I've got an operation inside the brackets divided by negative four and a negative divided by a negative um, is a positive. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive. Okay, on the next page, I'd like you to try these six questions. So pause the video, have a go, and then we'll check answers shortly. Okay, nine uh, divide negative three, positive divided by a negative is a negative. Negative six divide negative one, a negative divided by a negative, signs are the same, the answer is positive. Six divided by one is six. Negative divided by a positive is a negative. Negative divided by a negative is a positive, signs are the same. Okay, in this one, once again, we've got to do the division before we do the addition. So I copy down the negative 3 and the plus. Negative divided by negative is a positive, so negative 3 plus positive 2. And then I've got a bill for $3, plus I've got $2. I pay off part of the bill. I still owe $1. Down here, I've got to do the operation in brackets first, which is adding negative 5 plus negative 15 is negative 20. Negative 20 divide negative 4. Negative divided, negative divided by negative is a positive. Hopefully that wasn't the same question as the last page, but so what? Okay, that's the uh, quick review of add, subtract, multiply, and divide integers. So get out your revision sheets and just practice those, please.